So on the field, off the field, is anybody having a better time than Arden Key? Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. 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 Re- reason why I'm an energizer bunny. Um, I wake up smiling. I wake up laughing. I don't take life too serious. You can't. Um, I did one at one point and whew. when was that? Uh, it would have been my sophomore year in college, all the way up to my second year in the league, and I got hurt my second year in the league. Right. So it gave me time off to really think, to really reflect on what, um, where I was headed right. um, in that di- at that time, in that direction. Um, and I just had to get back to myself, really. Just get back to the fun, laughing, joking, art and key that it was. And if people questioned my, my, um, my seriousness, everybody, seriousness is different. You might have a mad face. I'm just a happy face with S- um, serious. So I just had to get back to that to that point, um, and I'm there now. I'm back. Is that what did it for you in San Francisco? Yeah, letting go, letting go, letting go of expectations, letting go. Stop reading Twitter, stop reading social media, uh, reading the comments and everything. It was that. I just had to let that go. Just live life. Football is what I do. It's not me. So leave football at the facility when I get home. Home is home. Um, and that would change. That would change. That would change the free. It was just the mental aspect, of everything. It wasn't the physical or anything like that, or me not able to do that. Do that. It was just the mental aspect of it. Were there elements when you went to San Francisco and played under Chris Kachurik? Chris Kachurik, who played here for Jim Washburn and is now <laughs> kind of the Jim Washburn in the yes. league. Um, your position, coach. Were there things that he taught you that he asked you to do where you could fully harness? all of this yeah chris helped me out with not caring a lot because that would that's that's what chris that would chris do chris bring in talented guys who maybe other teams don't think he's as talented or looking at numbers and not film per se um and chris bring those guys in and it's not just me that has done it. it's plenty of guys and it's a track record of that where guys come in play their butts off, and then go on and continue their career in a positive way. And it's just Chris. Chris is the same guy every day. He wants the best for you. He loves you dearly. It's not, it's not just football. It's, he, want, he wants you to be a man, really. So you take care of the man first, football will take care of itself. And then I think that's what he do. And he really shows that he really loves and cares for the players, for his players. Okay, so unfortunately for us, we saw you twice at the end of the season. Yeah, don't smile like that. <laughs> I don't think we've blocked you yet. No. So what was – it wasn't just us. You got going crazy good in December and then into the playoffs. What was that? The San Fran. Um, learning in San Fran, being in the league, you know, November, December is meaningful football mm-hmm. game. Players start to separate themselves in November, December because we understand as players, it's playoff time. It's different than regular season. Playoffs is we trying to get to the Super Bowl. That's what every team dream and aspiration in this league is to get to the Super Bowl. But November, December is what sets you up to make it to the playoffs or have that the momentum going sure. into the playoffs. But I mean, last year for Jacksonville, at the we played you December 11th, and then we saw you in January, and then in the two playoff games. I mean, what you were almost unblockable, totally. Was there something technique-wise, or something that you had tapped into? Were you just fresh? How, how did I mean that was it, it remarkable? Was, it was just um, being, like I said, I'm always revert back to San Fran because I learned so much there. It's like we got Fred Warner, you got. Nick Bosa, Eric Armstead, you had Jimmy Ward. You had all these guys who've been playing playoff football. Right. I never played a playoff football game before being in San Fran. So you carried that over. Carried it over. So they tell you, it don't matter what you did early on in the season. November, December is where you separate yourself so we can make it to the playoffs. You know, if you put together a whole year like that, who knows the numbers? That's and that's. Are you ready to do that? I am. I am. That's why I came to Tennessee. It was an opportunity for me to come in and play as a starting, have a starting role. Um, I've been looking for a starting role for the last 
two years and wasn't able to get that at San Fran, which if we want to be honest, you, it's some guys over there. There's some dudes. I, there's some dudes. Yeah. And I can't be mad at that because it's guys, it's, it's dudes, and they've been all pros, everything. So I can't argue with that. But Jacksonville, I kind of was arguing with it. I mean, put my numbers compared to their numbers. I mean, we can sit and we can talk. So I was just tired of being a third down pass rush specialist. That's, that's, that's my name now. I started to see a third down Arden pass key rush. specialist. Yeah, third down specialist, a pass rush specialist. That's an insult. Yeah, I mean, I'm more than just a pass rush. I'm, I play the run, too, just as well as I do the pass rush. But I guess it's every interview I talk about pass rush because I love it. I love him. When you did your pre-draft interview here with us, you talked about pass rush. Yeah, every it. answer to every question was pass about pass rush. rush. Pass rush. You love Even it. though I, I, pay, I play the run, I, lo- I like because playing Because you're like 255 now. Yeah. You're, what were you coming out of LSU? 235, 240? 40. 40. 40. 240. 238, specific. Okay. Well, 40, good burger, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Right, but you know, in professional wrestling, when a bad guy becomes a good guy, it's a little jarring. Yeah. So we thought of you the last two years as a bad guy, and now you're a good guy. Yeah. Are you ready to be a really good, good guy in Nashville? Yeah, I'm going to be a really great guy in Nashville just on Thursdays, Sundays, and Mondays. Be a bad guy. I'll be a bad guy. Be a bad guy. <laughs> Man, it's good to have you yes, here. Yes, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.